Hey there, wrestling fans. It's Joe Galley coming to you from my podcast studio. We just finished wrapping up another exciting episode of 33 with William Patrick Corrigan. That's the music podcast that comes out every Tuesday where me, Kyle Davis, and of course, Billy Corgan. We talk about the Smashing Pumpkins. We talk about the new album, Autumn, all that and a lot more. Subscribe today wherever you listen to podcasts. NWA 312 tickets are available right now, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a lot going on in Chicago, April 6th, 7th, and 8th. We've got a book signing on the 6th with Tyrus and Medusa. The pay-per-views on Friday the 7th. Saturday, two rounds of tapings for NWA Power and NWA USA. All the details, all the tickets, everything at NWATIX.com. But right now, let's get right to wrestling as it's meant to be. In the NWA arena, Kyle Candy deals. Take it away. NWA fans, action about to take place in the ring. Kyle Davis here, joined by Danny Deals and Candy, Ella and Roxy, former NWA women's tag team champions, taking on JC Love and Ruthie J. They this match, I mean, look at it, already locking up here. What are you guys thinking? Who you who's the money on? Well, technically, uh, this aren't the this is not the former tag team champions because Roxy, I mean, I guess maybe in a free bird ski rule, but the, she did not actually hold the title. It's Kenzie Page and L M V. I'm correct. you're usually the stack guy, Kyle. Anyway, I, I believe event. you missed this, but they literally won the tag team titles from the Renegade twins and then were pinned by Missa and well, Maddie. I, I, I well, maybe I went to the bathroom. Or, okay, anyway. This is what I'm saying. Oh, this is 2.0. I got what you're saying. I dig what you're saying. But that's okay. Anyway, my money is on nice pink. Nice up here. I'm not going with red. I'm going with pink. That's I'm, I'm rooting for red. I don't know who's going to win, but I'm definitely going for red. You're going for red? Come yeah, on, Candy. Just, right now, Ella tagging in Roxy there. You know, they have names. The competitors in the no. ring. It's not just colors. And there's girls with the fishnets and girls without the fishnets, as far as I'm concerned. That's nice. They're putting the boots to JC Love there. Now, have you ever been in a corner getting stomped like that before, Deals? Uh, you know what? I uh, refuse to answer that question. That's none of your business. That's Most a personal question. Most of our deals question. are good, but when they're not... Yes. They control the match. You could definitely see that the tag team duo here, they've had a lot more experience than the team that's just been put together, JC Love and Ruthie J. But the truth of the matter is, everybody's been thrown together at some point. This team could come together. We could see history happening right here and a future tag team champions in the making. Well, actually, Kyle, if you did your homework, you would know that Ellen Roxy are former tag team champions. Again, I was not talking about... Oh, pinfall here. Oh, hey, no. Kick out. So, you know, I think the former tag team Rocket. champions, I don't Beautiful. know if you missed it, but they won the tag belt. They, they Listen... I'm just saying they got the experience. Going for another pinfall. Of course they had the experience. Of course they were tag team champions. But look at this duo right here. Ruthie J getting tagged in now. The five-star athlete, the first time we've seen her in the ring here. She's a lot smaller. I'm just kind of wondering how she's going to manage working with her. Oh. shoulder tackle into I, the I don't corner. Believe that's athleticism. Legal. I don't believe that's legal. Oh, just because you we can't got do two it doesn't make it illegal. This, this can't be no, right. There's two in the ring at the yeah, same time. No What's way. the matter with it? They have several seconds to do that double team tandem here working together great for two people who have never been in the ring together before look at this and gq ref totally out of position totally out of position oh. Hair oh, yeah oh. there you go see the kg veteran ella envy i was trying to do you right there Did you see the kg veteran ella envy you were trying to pay attention to the match i think that's great <laughs> to do whip into the corner as you like to say the pink team is taking control yeah that of course would be pretty empowered tagging in Candy, yeah. what do you think about these fishnets right here? I mean, they're all right. They're all right. The corner, I think the black would have been a better choice. Go oh, with the okay. boots. Ella's not wearing fishnets yet. No. That's because I gave them a deal on it. They can only get one pair. Well, that's... They didn't want it, you know, they wanted half off. I said, okay, here's yeah, one Yeah, because pair. it wasn't candy approved. That's right. How's that grab you? It grabs me fantastically. I love that you're still talking to deals. Candy approved all this. Now, if you were to have merchandise with these stockings that you oh, keep on. Oh, oh, moved out of the way here. Son of a biscuit. Quick tag into Ruthie J. It's coming in. Where's she going? Oh, Back elbow to the that's throat. That's not nice. Taking oh. care of business. Taking out both members of Pretty Empowered. Oh, Big, oh, beautiful two drop feet kick. to the face. Showing why she is the five-star athlete. Oh! oh. Grabbing that arm, locking in, boot to the no chin. Way. Going for the I don't think she would have kicked out without the help of her opponent. Uh, like I think she totally would have. And she's just helping her up. There you go, Ella. See, look at this. Ella's in full control. Bring her over. Make the tag. by the hair. She's even pulling her partner around. I don't know what. Envy. Like, I don't know what I'm envious of here right now. This is oh, You're envious of that pink gear, Bring her right to the throat. Tag yeah. team. Dose. Trace. Oh. That's it. And that's three. Wow. The winners of this match. Pretty empowered. 
I think you guys called that at the beginning. You said Team Pink. Team Pink, I told you. Looks like you win. Speaking of winners, Ella Envy, Roxy, pretty empowered, taken away with the win. Folks, we've got plenty of action still to come. Still to come. Hey, what's the gig? Danny Deals, Danny W Deals, Triple D, the deal machine hanging out at the, ooh, the nice new deals house. Look at that, Candy, how you doing? You look lovely in that hat. Where'd you get it? Oh, thank you. Well, you can buy it here or you can buy it online. You can buy it online, nationalwrestlingalliance.com. Hit the shop button. Anyway, I also got this cool new hoodie. Look, this is the back. Look at the front. Show them that, Candy. No, not that part. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, look at that new shirt. You know what? That's actually almost gone. So if you don't buy it right now, it's over. Forget about it. Look at this. Look at this new banner I made. Look at this thing. My favorite color. Oh, yeah. I know. Is this the Werewolf Brothers? What are we doing? right here what are we doing you know what i wanted to sell these things for like 30 dollars, but candy said no so i said okay fine screw it they're ten dollars how about that oh look at that that'll get you motivated in the morning won't it yeah i'm gonna go run the hill like i'm in rocky also we got this brand new usa shirt oh, where is it at right there you like this i love it go to the shop right now hit the link go to the website hit the link right now hey there folks one of the reasons why we chose studio one in highland park as our location to have nwa 312 is because we're trying to help this community heal after the devastating mass shooting that happened on July 4th. A portion of the proceeds from VIP tickets as well as tickets to the book signing are to go directly to the families that were impacted. Those tickets are available at nwatix.com. Now, let's get back to the action inside the NWA Arena. Welcome back, NWA fans. Tag team action in the ring. Chico Adams, the real Drago. Chico, of course, in the plaid gear. They're going against Dirty South. Big Brian Brock, Dirty Devin Diaz. Dirty Devin Diaz locking up right now with Chico Adams. I'm, of course, joined by Danny Deals and Candy. How's this action starting off for the both of you? Well, I guess if it's called Dirty South, that's because are you insinuating that nobody takes a shower in the South? Is that why they're the Dirty South? I believe one of the individuals named Dirty Diaz and the other is from the South, so Dirty South, it just goes together. Uh, like peanut know. butter and jelly. Oh, People oh. love peanut butter and jelly. Shoulder tackle, both men finding who's strongest. Okay. Uh, so, Candy, what do you think about Chico and the man here wearing that uh, Catholic school nice uh, uniform? Nice arm drag. Oh, yeah, I don't know. The, the play on the schoolgirl uniform just isn't doing it for me, honestly. But we could hook him up we with could. some merch. We could get him a deal. Yeah, I mean, Absolutely. Honestly, I'm amazing. glad that you're looking out for the competitors in the ring here. I'm just hoping that that cowbell get used here at some point. Oh, yeah. Nice more tag. Cowbell, in comes please. Big Brian Brock. Yeah, Candy's curious why they're not called more cowbell. Yeah, more cowbell is definitely where they should have went with this. Yeah. Because they only have one cowbell. Like, There's not more cowbell if they have a cowbell. Look at that left arm. Actually, Actually if you arm. don't have nice. any cowbell and then you have a cowbell, you're ha adding more combo. That's more cowbell because you had zero cowbell before. Well, I think if you're ringing that cowbell, you're working out your arm here. And speaking of working on arm, they are working out the arm of Chico Adams. He is going to the top rope right now. We're going to see right to the point of the elbow there. That could damage Tara Bicep. You know, I don't right. know if Chico was the right guy to have alongside his uh, brother in red in this match. He is just outsized by both of these other guys. Oh, you're talking about old uh, Ivan Drago Old, old Mark Cowbell team Ivan Drago. versus That's the Drago. real Drago, yeah. and the real Drago is now getting tagged in. Well, let's We're about to see a hoss match right here. Slapping meat. Let's see what Drago can do when That's he gets in here. That's more than I signed Big up Brian for, Brock. Kyle. <laughs> Definitely. Let's keep it appropriate here, Kyle. I don't anyway. know what you're talking about. Hey, listen. If he's the real Drago, are you insinuating that... There's a lady that, here at this desk. Are you insinuating that Ivan Drago isn't the real Drago? All I know is this gentleman is called the real Drago, and I believe what I am told here. I also believe that wow. these two men here are immovable objects. It Look at that. seems Neither to be man so. Giving. Let's try it again. I'm amazed he was able to get up. Oh! That's wow. a big man with a big drop kick. kick. Did not expect that out of him. Strength and agility. Big brother drop kick right there. You can see Drago's That's taken right. a back bite, and Chico tagging himself in. Uh, this what is, is he thinking? I, I Maybe don't... a little dissension here? What do you think, He's Andy? trying to convince Drago, but I'm not buying it. Look at that. Kick to the right stomach, away he gets kicked in the gut. right now, cut off immediately. I mean, come on. Now you got more cowbell coming in here, double action. Like, oh, yeah. This isn't looking good yeah, for those old... ropes. Extra momentum coming through with Hilaria. Oh. He took a detour to get there. That's right. Taking the man right down. Going for a pin. Yeah, Drago two. really needs no way, to intervene. I mean, I gotta be honest with you. I think if Drago didn't come in for that, that could have been oh. it. Drago should have been in there in the first place. Let's yeah. be honest. Yeah, yeah. Let's know, be honest. Chico was really. Oh. 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 See, that's, that's why you can't get distracted. Shot. That knee taken out from behind. Chico doing what he has to. Is this one of Medusa's refs? Because uh, he's uh, not paying it attention absolutely at all. Absolutely, Scott Wheeler. Yeah, he's a uh, he's a very crooked Medusa ref. Split in the difference right there. You know, for a man named Dirty Devin Diaz, I'm seeing most of the dirty happening to him. Yeah. Well, maybe he point. just doesn't shower. 
Yeah, see, I think, as we previously I, I think we already established yeah, that, didn't we not? Dirty South, right. You know what? Maybe we could sell some great I scented mean, bath lotions we, on the site deals. You're yeah, the deal, man. Help yeah. us. Look we at the strength there. Pick it off by a lake. Yeah, I don't know if you're the authority on this because you're one of them shady Northeast brothers. So, you, I'm, you know, you, you don't know anything about the South. I don't, but what I do know is the South, if his leg keeps on getting taped out like that, may not rise again. <laughs> uh, oh, that's Kyle, a fact. Gotta get oh, we're going to try to get Chico back in for redemption. Say? Let's see how this goes. You know, you pick a spot, you're working on DDT to the leg. They're working on the knee, that sudden impact, sudden jolts all the way up your spinal column. Dragging him in, getting him away from the ropes. Smart play here. I'll tell you, Chico and the man, he's on top of it now, isn't he? What do you think, Candy? Have you changed your opinion or no, what? No, I have not. Okay. It's, at this point, <laughs> I don't right think luck. You know, it's a smart play here. If you can't get somebody down for a three count, you can take them down by making sure they can't stand back up and making them submit. I think that seems to be the Drago Chico Shoulder connection right here. The, the Drago Chico connection. connection. DC. DC. What do you think, Daddy? I like it. All DC right. working on Dirty South. Oh, oh well, here Ivan comes Drago a big guy. Oh. In, oh, fighting back, oh, slap to the face. I don't know if that Drago. was smart. Oh, got and this look at the tag, Quick very tag. smart. Brian Brock in the ring with fire. Yeah. That broke chop, caught Dr. Drago sleeping on the apron. <laughs> look at those fists flying. And here we go with Chico letting the, the team down again. The crowd is feeling <laughs> this. You know who else is feeling this? Oh. Chico Chico's Adams in the face? corner just yeah, got that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Candy is not very high on the abilities of Mr. Drago. Or wait, no, Chico. Chico. Whatever. Blind Does it matter <laughs> there? I don't think Brian knows that Chico's not the legal man anymore. It's Let's go, Wheeler, you over. crooking ref. Oh he, he didn't even attempt God. to go down. Really? This is definitely a Medusa hire. <laughs> I thought I saw a tag there. I'm, I'm now a little lost. Here we go. He was just calling his spots there. Oh. Distraction. Drago's in now, and he is furious. Drago wow. just used the element of surprise. I was confused. They were confused. He stepped in. He took that confusion to I'm his advantage. I'm confused. Advantage. It's like a bull and a matador in here uh -oh. right now. Here we go. Drago with the strike. Oh! oh straight dead. down. This might be it. There it is. He was not getting up after that. As we call him, DC, ladies and gentlemen, your winners in the match, Chico Adams, the real Drago. We've got more to come. We're going to be right back. Experience the captivating story of Deborah Medusa Michelli, a woman who never let her past define her. This is the woman who would be king. The Medusa Story. In her captivating memoir, Medusa shares her story of perseverance, determination, and triumph over adversity. Discover the truth behind her upbringing and how she became a world champion before revolutionizing the monster truck world. Don't miss this unforgettable tale of a woman who refused to give up no matter the odds. Pre-order The Woman Who Would Be King today. Hey wrestling fans, I want to thank all of you that made it out to the World is a Vampire Festival in Mexico City. It was amazing. And we're doing it all again, but this time, not just once, not just twice, but 10 different shows in Australia as part of the World is a Vampire Tour in Australia. I know we've got some Australian fans that are watching NWA USA. Those tickets are also available at NWATIX.com, so I hope to see you down under as well. Let's get back to the action inside the NWA Arena. Kyle, Danny, Candy, take it away. NWA wrestling fans, welcome back. Samantha Stark, third generation superstar in the ring against the debuting weapon of ass destruction, the Wode, one-eyed, thick thighed. She's made her name all over Texas, and now she's gonna make her name in the NWA. Are you sure that's what it stands for? Absolutely, it's on my notes. Oh, I thought it was World of Alligator Destruction. We're in Tampa, like what are you talking about? She's from Texas, this is Tampa. It doesn't cross borders. That arm bar though, she is making sure that Samantha Starr knows her geography, and that geography is where her arm is at right now. Well, Tampa and uh, Texas both start with a T. So, you know, just so you know. And you asked me about her namesake. You see it right there. Her offense is ass destruction based. <laughs> Indeed. Kyle, Indeed. that's what makes you, you, and me just me, that you said that so was a straight So when she slapped face. it, she's Here we like go. gearing up. Here we go. Samantha Starr, of course, the basics you learn from being a third generation superstar, that headlock, really takes a person out of the game, puts pressure on the way you could even think about what to do next in the ring. What, what do you mean by the basics she learned as a third generation? I mean, is that how, like, is that how she got out of the crib? Did baby Dow grab her by in a, in a side headlock? And 
I do not toss her out of the crib. I mean, I'm just asking. I don't come from wrestling family, but I'd like to think that from birth, she was raised to know what to do in situations like this. All righty. So instead of cat in the hat, it was uh, headlock takeover, get it again. All right. Drop down, baby. Yeah, here we go. Right now, weapon of ass destruction. She has got that in there, trying to take it right to her. Forearms to the ribs, trying to take her out. I would also like to point out, I believe your information is incorrect because she's used nothing but her arms so far. Well, going for the pinfall, kick oh. out. Trying All to right. pull a fast one on her. That's how you win. Okay. Adjusting that, that eye patch. Little... All right. So Kyle, what kind of signature move are we looking for on ass destruction then here? <laughs> I think you'll see it when you see it. I'll, and you'll I'll know, know it, it when I'll you see know. it. I'll know, okay. Now, also, okay. the thing you need to remember is that Wode has just legally oh. blind in one eye. The eye patch is there because of that depth perception. So she could be at a disadvantage. Oh. She literally could not have seen that yeah, clothesline coming right now. Samantha Starr taking advantage of the blind side. Well, there you have it. Anyway, here we go. Four arms to the chest, just taking advantage of this young lady in her debut here in the National Wrestling Alliance, slamming her in the corner. Debut, it could also be her finale. It could be. You never know when the first and the last will ever be in any situation, Danny. I'm sure that last kiss you did not think would be the last. Kick to the spine. I did not think so. I'll write a song about it. Uh-oh, what's Sammy doing right here? Up. Driving Ooh. that face Ooh. into the mat. Ooh. Kick out at two. Again, she keeps on working that head, seeing that, the adjusting of the eye patch. She sees a weak point. She's going for it. Samantha Starr, of course, as we said, that's what you learn as you're brought up in this business. Now, Danny, your signature eye poke would come in very handy here. Yeah, because then there's only one eye left. Push off of the attempted bulldog. <laughs> Definitely feeling that one. Oh, Speaking of boy. a woad, that was an ass being destroyed. Oh. Kick to the back of the neck, sending shockwaves to the body. You are correct, Candy. Uh, my signature eye poke. Uh, she would be blind in both eyes. Oh! oh. Now oh, we're wait. starting to make use of that derriere a little bit more now kick out and again every time somebody has to kick out of a pinfall it takes a little bit more energy out of you eventually the air leaves your body and then the, who knows what could end this match those fists right there samantha start definitely taking it to the woad well if samantha was smart she'd go for the eye poke i know that yeah I, i'm with candy here i think candy's expert analysis would be proved to be correct Ooh, there's again, the butt move yeah, signature we offense go. we spoke about oh, oh. oh son of a biscuit to the back of the spinal column this could be it so close. No, out on yet so far, right? You didn't say it. Deals. You can hear yes. them both incredibly tired, though. Would you be afraid to get into the ring with someone like Woad? Uh, absolutely. So that's a absolutely. Fair. But I'm still on the injured list anyway, so I'm not cleared. I'm just glad the neck form. brace after one year finally you, came you've off. You've been on the IR for several seasons now, I think. Well, you know, uh, I was, I was. Uh, it was, uh, there was some grievous bodily harm that was done to me. Telling the crowd what she's about to use. Got yeah, her down ass. in the we corner. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's in her name. <laughs> I warned you. It's she's all she's, all gearing, it, she's, she's gearing it up here. Oh. oh. I bet that turnbuckle hurts. Can we see it? The Star Truck DDT. Oh, yes. There she didn't it see is. that coming. She did not see that coming. There it is. But she did see a victory in her future after the Star Truck DDT. Samantha she Star getting a win over the debuting Wode, and we'll be back with more action. Get ready for a weekend of nonstop action and excitement as the NWA presents 312 on pay-per-view. Live from Highland Park on Friday, April 7th, be a part of history as NWA World's Heavyweight Champion Tyrus defends against the masterpiece Chris Adonis. The NWA World Women's title is also on the line as champion the Brickhouse Camille takes on La Rosa Negra. Watch Scion defend the national title against EC3 and witness the crowning of the first ever NWA World Women's Television Champion. But that's just the beginning as the action continues Saturday, April 8th. Don't miss your chance to be a part of our NWA Power and NWA USA TV tapings. If that's not enough, join us as it all kicks off Thursday, April 6th at Madame Zuzu's Tea House for a special book signing with World Champion Tyrus and wrestling legend Medusa. Tickets are available now at NWATix.com. Pre-order NWA 312 today at Fight.tv. Don't miss your chance to witness some of the most exciting matches in wrestling today as the NWA takes over Chicago. The NWA, wrestling as it's meant to be. The following match is one fall with a 10 minute TV time limit and is a hair versus mask match. Oh, nobody home. I, I, I've noticed that Sal keeps 
I mean, he's always done this a little nose. bit, but he keeps going to his hair. Keeps feeling of his hair. I think it's almost like he's not, isn't going to be there. Looking for the end here. Got him! Got, it. Got him! Stuck him! Uh oh. It's over! Here comes it's the over tongue. for Sal! The tongue is out! Not looking good for Sal. The tongue is out! Right now. Oh, God, no. He doesn't want to do it. Look, Gags he, doesn't want to do it. He's looking at the hair. He doesn't want to do it, He's looking at the hair it, of his friend, of his he brother. Understands. But he look at James Mitchell. It is. Prove your loyalty, Sal. Or Gags. Call him a moron. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh this come is on. not right right now. Oh, but Where'd Sal was Sal able go? to roll Sal. out. Sal rolled out onto the floor. Sal is out of here. Where is he? And, and, and Gags is pleading right now with Father James Mitchell. Oh, this is, oh, this is so wrong, guys. This is so wrong. Oh, no. Both men are going to get counted out if someone doesn't roll back in. Scott Wheeler's on nine. Oh, Gags stopped him. Double count out. Both men have been counted out. This match is a no contest. Ladies and gentlemen, we are making history in Chicago. That's right. At NWA 312, we are crowning our new first ever women's television champion. We want you to be a part of that moment. We want you to be a part of that history, and you can. You can buy your tickets now at nwatix.com. If you can't be there, you could still witness that history through our live pay-per-view. It is through Fight TV. You can pre-order the pay-per-view right now on Fight. Now, let's get back to more action for NWA USA. Let's head into the arena. We are back in the NWA arena. Daisy Kill in the ring. We're locking up with Rush. Freeman, Kyle Davis here, as well as Danny Deals, the lovely Candy. And we've seen Daisy Kill, a man who seemingly has an issue with Trevor Murdoch as of late, but we haven't really seen him compete in the ring. This one is going to be one to watch. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, first thing, how did you get the name Daisy Kill? I mean, how depressing is this? Van Hammer was taken. Perhaps oh. he hates flowers, but you know who doesn't hate flowers? Rush Freeman, part of the Spectaculars in the ring right now, the little brother of Rolando Freeman, who's cheering him out of ringside. Beautiful arm drag right there, adjusting that bow tie. Got to look nice when may you're trying I, to win matches. May I point out there's nothing spectacular about Rush Freeman. Yeah, I mean, old. I mean, that's not what I'm seeing right here. I'm seeing a clinic going on right here. Uh, arm what, drag, what arm drag. Look at this power slam. Bam! He's looking a little more like a wilted daisy right now. <laughs> An old tulip. Not That's even in the confidence. ring right now. Somebody better give him a clinic on dancing. What is that? Yeah, this is terrible. That is his signature dance number. Don't judge him. He's doing better than I can. Oh! Still sticking to that arm right there. Digging that knee into the shoulder blade. You know what would help uh, old uh, Killer Daisy here is if he just didn't run at him so fast. You know, Then I he wouldn't like be able to give an arm drag. Now, it's simple, right? What do you think, Candy? Yeah, absolutely. Or you could just take some Roundup. Yeah. Out here with you and take care of it. Yeah. I right believe away. Roundup is a toxic chemical that you cannot spray another human being with. I think but that's, that's beside the point. The point. <laughs> We're going to save you the problems later on. Rush Freeman oh. coming out of a oh. spine buster. Going for the pinfall. Deep cover. Ah. Kick out. Rush is feeling that. You kept on saying he shouldn't be running at him, but look what happened. Ended up working out in his favor. Uh, that's what, We'll go back and watch the tape on that. I don't think I was incorrect, but I think a, 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 on a reversal, it switched the momentum there, Kyle. These are technical things you might not know about. But uh, Thank you for explaining to me, Danny. I'm learning more every day working with you. Working yes. his body right now. Oh, yeah. Working his body. All right. <laughs> now, <laughs> come on, fist. Candy. Hold it. Hold, keep it down. Uh, hey, Rush hey, Freeman hey, using those skills he's learned in the boxing glove. Taking it to the stomach. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, get, pull that mullet right off. Now, as a All bald right. man, I do happen to notice when people pull hair, and there's been a lot of hair pulling in this match. What is happening now, I, here? I, I guess I'm not getting. I need to get Rush Freeman a deal on a barber, because that, that, uh, that, that you know, mullet I has got to uh, go. I think old, like, you know, Daisy Tarzan here could probably use a haircut, too. I, no, I like his hair. He's I all right. I think we should also notice that Rush is coming to this match injured. You can see that his thigh is oh, Rolando is quite upset trying to get the crowd into it. 
And the, uh, and the crowd is railing here. I mean, Rolando being the bigger brother, looking at his younger brother here, getting beat up. You see him grabbing the leg right there, and Daisy finally noticed it just like I had. That taped up there, that's just a target on him. Absolutely. Oh, don't try to use that as an excuse, Kyle. I looked at the injury report this morning. He was listed as probable, so I don't even want to hear it. I heard that it possibly was an injury oh. from working on a different dance number, and that's why he was just doing the first one there. Don't judge the man. Oh. He's injured. He's trying his best. And he's doing fantastic. Clamor and blow to the face. Taking control of this match. Daisy kill in the corner. Yeah. Close line. Why is Tattoo going crazy out there? Tattoo shouldn't be allowed out there. Uh, Beautiful belly to belly. Could this be it? Hook in no the leg. Too high. I feel like that was three, but I guess no, not. The, the, the trajectory of it, it's all uh, very technical. I'll, I'll, uh, I mean, old DK, Donkey Kong, Daisy Kill here is struggling. The too high, as you're saying, he pulled him forward too much, uses his own momentum to get him out. Oh. Slapping Rolando down. Good, get him out of here. He doesn't belong out here. Tell him to go to Mr. Rourke's been paging. Is that a Fantasy Island reference? Of course it is. Come on, Kyle, keep up. Trivial Pursuit is on the way. Rush Freeman getting frustrated. Of course, that technical skill we saw at the beginning, now he's just throwing fists. Daisy kills covering that face. He's definitely going to lose now. It's his moneymaker. He's terrible. Which is distracted. Small package. Come on, ref. There oh, you go. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Daisy <laughs> kills pulling out a win. Uh, I told you, Rush Coming Freeman into the match. sucks. I told you to put all the money on the Killer Daisy brother. Killer Daisy brother taking it as Danny Deal says, folks, that's a wrap for us. Join us again for more NWA action. Thanks so much for joining us for NWA USA. We'll be back with more wrestling, more action this Tuesday on a brand new episode of NWA Power. Don't forget, tickets for everything going on in Chicago, in Australia, around the world, ladies and gentlemen. Everything can be found at nwatix.com. I'm Joe Galley. I'll see you on Tuesday.